sirens wailed just before the Jewish holiday of Shavuot began, sending Chen Farag and her family once again running for cover as they have dozens of times over the past week since the latest war between Palestinian militants in Gaza and the Israeli military erupted. The Farags live in Ashdod, Israel's largest port on the Mediterranean coast. The city of about 225,000 people is about 18 miles north of the Gaza Strip. Six adults, two dogs and a parrot huddled in their homes, reinforced safe room Sunday evening, a routine precaution for hundreds of thousands of Israelis in the country's south. After an explosion shook the building, they rushed outside to see cars on fire, including their own. Their home's front door had been blown off, windows were blasted out and shrapnel was embedded in walls. We are in shock. It's a nightmare, said Farag, a 24-year-old cable technician. It's hard to sleep, because we are thinking, what if Gaza tries to hit us again? The cycle of fighting and ceasefires has repeated itself numerous times in the past 15 years since the first rockets were fired at southern Israel from the Gaza Strip. The barrages have caused deep frustration for residents, many weary over what they see as the Israeli government's failure to change to the situation. Many children who have grown up in the area suffer from trauma-related problems. Since the latest war erupted last week, Palestinian militants have fired more than 3,200 rockets at Israeli cities. Most were intercepted or fell short within Gaza itself, but hundreds made it through. An Israeli firefighter work at the site, where a rocket fired from the Gaza Strip, hit the central Israeli town of Holon, near Tel Aviv, Tuesday, May 11, 2021. A confrontation between Israel and Hamas sparked by weeks of tensions in contested Jerusalem escalated Tuesday as Israel unleashed new airstrikes on Gaza, while militants barraged Israel with hundreds of rockets.